And then a lot of arresting cases, we have documented around 47 persons. Unfortunately, for charges in which they were sentenced to 15 to 50 years up to death penalty. These are crazy sentences which have increased after Mohammed bin Salman in 2022. All of the arrested or prisoners wanted to appeal their sentences or annul them However, uh, and unfortunately, we have documented who were uh, sentenced to death penalty, five persons, uh, Shadili Ahmed Mahmoud Al-Hawaiti, and who is the brother of Abdul Rahim and Atallah Musa Muhammad Al-Hawaiti, who is the cousin of Abdul Rahim also. And uh, Abdul Rahim uh, Salah Al-Hawaiti was also a relative. And two other who, who are uh, officers, uh, who are even more than two. And they have military courts to face. And most probably they would be charged with a treason and be sentenced to death penalty, including Sulaiman al-Hawaiti and Mashur al-Hawaiti. Of course, the charges are considered uh, crazy. Even the uh, niece or the nephew of uh, Abdul Rahim, who is a university student, who was sentenced, he was 19 years old. He was arrested while he was in the university. They raided the uh, university campus and was arrested and sentenced to 21 years. Also, Abdul Nasser was sentenced to uh, 21 years. So the Saudi government is doing all of these violent practices. This doesn't only apply to those who refuse their decisions, but to everyone, to their families, to their relatives. And among the crazy sentences that we have heard, those who were sentenced to 50 years in prison, Abdul Ilah al Hawaiti and Abdullah al Hawaiti. The problem, problematic which lies here is not just about the people who are subject to Neon Project and also Maha Suleyman Al-Hawaiti who was imprisoned to 23 years old. She is a mother for five children. Uh, she lost her baby who was still four years old, uh, four months old, sorry. And even that the people have refused to leave their houses, refused to be evicted. She spoke about that and she spoke about the living uh, concerns. And she was sentenced to 23 years in prison without taking into consideration her family status or anything.